Now, it's been a busy week in many, many ways. Uh, I have been uh, corresponding with many people, uh, and that's how we get our little bits and pieces together for the program. Uh, it's a lot of research, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of uh, forethought and planning that goes into what we produce. Um, and it just doesn't happen with, you know, clicking of the fingers sort of thing. Uh, but uh, here we go. I have been chatting to for quite a while with Phyllis De Silva, the widow of the late Desmond De Silva. Now, Phyllis and I have been chatting uh, as soon as Des passed away, and this is why we decided we will just do a teeny weeny tribute for. Des, not forgetting that it was his third month death anniversary on the 9th of April. He passed away on the 9th of January. Such a sudden passing away. And Phyllis was very happy with what we did on our program on Friday the 14th of January. Uh, as a tribute for Des, and she had a, a lovely YouTube uh, snippet done, and she sent it to me by 2 o'clock in the afternoon on s the Saturday after our program. It was so touching that it had me uh, teary because it had been sort of a tiny segment had been recorded, and this was something that blew us apart, actually. Phyllis sent us two CDs of Desert songs two weeks ago. And as you all know, Ian will progressively play Desmond De Silva's songs on our program. And also, Phyllis, I've got to say to you, thank you for sanctioning our request to acknowledge the three-month death anniversary of your late and dearly loved Desmond. As I said, Phyllis and I have chatted and discussed lots of things, and she would like me to talk about the planned Thanksgiving service to be followed by a tribute concert in Sydney. Desa's much-loved home state. I am now taking the opportunity to mention on air that this forthcoming Thanksgiving service in Sydney for the repose of the soul of Desmond De Silva will also be followed by this tribute concert. Dates for both events, as Phyllis has mentioned to me, will be confirmed and published soon on our own radio program, The King and I. I will also be confirming these dates and announcing it on our show as we hear about it. Phyllis is awaiting a couple of overseas visitors who have expressed their utmost desire to attend this. So this is why she's waiting for them to get actually across to Australia. She's also taken this opportunity, Phyllis, to express her sincere thanks to everyone for their love and care extended to her during these three very difficult months that have gone by. Phyllis is so grateful for the overwhelming kindness that people have shared with her. Phyllis told me that she has taken a minute, an hour, and a day at a time, and she believes that even though Des has left a huge void in her life, she has been blessed to be very focused in keeping the memory of Des alive. Phyllis mentioned to me that she feels that Des is by her side all the time. Her loss is 
unimaginable, as Des was such a vibrant figure on and off stage. We believe that Phyllis has passed on our details to all of Des, Des's fan club members who have tuned in to our program tonight. I'm getting throaty about this. Phyllis has also passed on our radio station details and program link to the publishing staff and directorate of the Elanka publications to publish the link of our program. And for this, we thank you so much, Phyllis. It's wonderful coverage. Ian is now going to play a first song that he has chosen out of the two CDs that we got sent in the mail by Phyllis of Des. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Corinne. I'll be back to talk a little bit more, and then Ian will play another song. Yep. Thanks, Corinne. Uh, thanks, Phyllis, for sharing Des with us. And uh, we thought we selected this song and we think it's quite appropriate. This is Desmond De Silva singing, this is for you, Phyllis, my girl. Desmond De Silva and My Girl. Beautifully sung, don't you think? And uh, we're going to go to a break now, but when we come back, we're coming back with another song of Desmond's. I just had a text from Phyllis right. to say that he always dedicated that song to her. Well, and there you she go. can't thank you enough for choosing it and selecting it from, from the two CDs that she sent us. I Lovely think there. I think Des is involved here somewhere Definitely. along the line. Mm. Okay, you're tuning in to ninety seven point seven FM Casey Radio, the sound of the southeast. And for the rest of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, even the world, 
is www.kcradio.com.au and our program is The King and I. And after the few messages, we'll be back with a little bit more of Des De Silva. Welcome back. And uh, I'm going to hand you back over to Corinne, who's got uh, a little bit more to say about Des De Silva. Thank you, Ian. Yes, uh, that was very touching. Phyllis, thank you so much for... It was, it, our eyes just fell straight on that particular song and we thought that was it, that had to be number one. Yes, I'm going to talk about uh, just uh, a bit about uh, how widely regarded as a Sri Lankan's best entertainer by far over five decades, Desmond covered every spectrum of music in the Sri Lankan field, music field, and later in England and Australia, while bowing millions of adoring fans around the globe. His achievements in music cannot be encompassed in a few paragraphs, but his fans will readily testify the indelible mark he has made as a wonderful performer. He was to Sri Lankans what Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra was to the world, showcasing a rare and extraordinary talent that even extended to Motown. Desmond traveled through numerous countries as a band member, mainly Europe and Asia, and teamed up with thousands of musicians along the way who marveled at his unique presence on stage. After years of globetrotting as a member of the best bands in Sri Lanka, the Jetliners and later the Spitfires, he then continued his work as a leader of his own band, Desmond and the Clan which was very popular in Europe and Scandinavia. After years of adventure on the road, he then settled on a solo career, singing as a guest singer, and his popularity soared when he ventured into the singular music field, which he quickly took by storm. Before long, he commanded the respect of the nation, by being proclaimed the king of Baila, which skyrocketed his fame in an era that gave fame but no massive financial gain. As he rose to an iconic status, it was a role he held to, to the day he passed away by Sri Lankan music fanatics who could not get enough of him. Ironically, Des always harbored his love for Western music and quite naturally chose not to be categorized or pigeonholed as one-dimensional. He has produced hundreds of CDs, videos and commands thousands of followers on YouTube and other related music channels. He certainly has an impressive versatility and ability to own the stage, made him, has made him a standout among music lovers, immaterial of their ethnicity. And sadly, he is another of the Sri Lankan icons who has departed this world alongside Sunil Pereira and Ronnie Leach in recent times. His musical exploits have touched millions of fans through several generations, and he will continue to do so. Such is the impact he has cemented as a -a once-in-a-lifetime performer. Desmond nurtured several musicians along the way, giving them pointers which has helped them launch their own careers in music to great heights. He maintained a high degree of professionalism until his last breath 
and he would not compromise his standards for anything less. He was never an arrogant performer. Des, in fact, had an uncanny ability to interact with his fans on and off stage, and this trait would see him draw invitations from all over the world right up to his dying day. It was with such sadness that the news spread across the world on January 9th that we had lost such a talented person in Desmond de Silva. The void that he has left is absolutely unbelievable. For those who have been very close with him in the music field, they miss him so much. Phyllis feels him constantly by her side. Ian is going to play right now another piece of music mm. that we have chosen together from one of the CDs. Yeah, and uh, you can say that Desmond definitely put his stamp in the music industry in, in Australia and Sri Lanka and even internationally. So this is uh, Des. Well, he certainly was a caring and wonderful friend to his many, many friends. And our lives will never be the same without him. A gentleman and a wonderful friend. Yes, so here we go with Des De Silva and uh, this is Home. Summer day has come and gone away in Paris and Rome, but I wanna go home. Maybe surrounded by a million people, I still feel all alone. Just wanna go home. Oh, I miss you, you know. And I've been keeping on. The sunny place I'm lucky I know But I wanna go home mm, I got to go home Let me go home I'm just too far From where you are I wanna come home I'm 
Mr. Desmond De Silva He's gone home You're tuned into 97.7 FM Casey Radio The Sound of the South East And for the rest of Melbourne Victoria, Australia, even the world Is www.caseyradio.com.au And our programme is The King and 